Hi everyone, today it's my plan to test all but one of the most recent Motorola smartphones to see how they perform against each other. The Moto G was the device that started things off back in November 2013. It was available in black and white with 8 or 16 gigs of internal storage but had no card slot and no 4G. Following the launch of the Moto G came the Moto E in May 2014 with a lower quality screen of 540 by 960 pixels, a 5 megapixel camera without flash, just 4 gigs of internal storage but accompanied this time by a memory card slot. It was just 3G and powered by a lower quality Snapdragon 200 chipset but still with 1 gig of RAM. At the same time Motorola launched the Moto G 4G, the one handset I don't have available for this test. Then in September 2014 came the second generation Moto G, aptly named the Moto G second generation. It was back to just 3G but now it came with a dual SIM as standard in most of Europe and a memory card slot to accompany its 8GB of internal storage. It was still powered by Snapdragon 400 and still came with 1GB of RAM but the Moto G second generation now got a larger 5 inch display as well as a camera spec boost to 8 megapixels. Also in March came the Moto E second generation. It has not only gained a larger display and 4G support, but it's now powered by a 64-bit Snapdragon 410 chipset making it the most powerful device, on paper at least, amongst the various G's and E's on here today. That screen had jumped from 4.3 to 4.5 inches. However, the 5 megapixel snapper still has no flash, leaving it perhaps lagging behind for anyone that wants to take photos in all but the best lighting conditions. And finally, at the start of 2015, in some regions like Brazil, Motorola launched the Moto G second generation with 4G. It was then rolled out elsewhere this month. The only key difference on the Moto G 4G second generation is the addition of 4G, and Europe still gets the dual SIM version. 